A reprieve has come for families of policemen who died in the line of duty. The Imo State Police Commanders remembered their widows by donating items that will enable them to set up businesses, while scholarship has been given to the son of one of the deceased officers. The action is part of the Command's Empowerment Program to assist families who are going through difficult times. Officers of the Imo State Police Command playing host to the families of their slain colleagues, a union made possible by the Police Officers' Wives Association in the state. Sewing machines, grinding machines, generating sets and foodstuffs all running into millions of naira are being put together for the widows. It cannot replace the loss of a breadwinner but help them get back on track. The program is aimed at correcting insinuations that families of late police officers are often abandoned. One Mr. Edith Sergeant, at time to order division, was sent on bank escort. In the process of lying on duty, he was shot, he was killed, and that is the end of it. We have lost able men, and while they died, the family crumbled. And no other person can assist the police if not we who come together and assist the widows. Singled out among them is this woman and her son whose dreams of getting tertiary education may have been shattered but for these announcements. This is the only son. He has three other, children, or three other girls. And I have decided today to issue him scholarship of his document. The high point of the occasion is the presentation of the materials to the widows. My intention is to go to school and I graduated last year from the secondary school. So I got admission last year but I had nobody to support me. So I thank God for this great opportunity that is given to me. This is the first time I'm receiving a gift since my husband left me. And I thank God it happens where he belonged before he died. This gesture by the Imo State Police Command will ease the sufferings of these families, at least for a while.